everyone, Sandra from Scrap to Beauty, and it is Sunday night, and I have to thank Jeannie. You'll see her. She's in the chat. She's Beanie, Beanie Jeannie. She um, got me three more of these, so I offered to do one of these in return because she wouldn't take any money for them. So I'm going to, she wanted a peacock theme, so that's what we're mixing up now, peacock um, colors. And so I have three of these to pour, and then I have two three stars and two trees so we'll see how far we get hi Misha hi Ella are you back from your uh, hi Kimberly hi everyone are you back from your crop thing so I've already poured the paint and then just added the flow trowel I'll probably have to add some more though Ella was at a was all weekend or just for Saturday Ella like a crop type thing So then Wednesday, we're going to start the canvas, the Christmas canvases. So, so make sure you have your, you know, gesso, stencils, whatever embellishments you want, that kind of stuff. Oh, do, PM her, um, Jennifer, PM CB. <laughs> now you just... I, I usually can't find anything. It's just the same thing. Like I have, I want to send something to APG Jamie. I only know Jamie is Jamie. Like I don't know what her last name is. <laughs> so I had to tweet her like, uh, can you tell me what your last name is? I'm sure I must have heard it, but I can't think of it for life of me. So. No, I'm having problems with my knee, Ella. We were just talking about that before the chat. Um. Yeah. After the uh, food poisoning, um, I don't know. My knee is like, they're calling it startup pain. So we'll see what happens. I have some things I got to do and see what happens by the end of the week. <laughs> there we go. This is all takes the longest part is mixing everything. The pouring goes quick. <laughs> There we go. I finally got my tree up, so I'm happy about that. So my family room is all decorated, but I can't do the dining room because I have the I have a big tarp over it, so we could put the rest of the pours tonight. And then you've got to let this sit for hi Dar. Um, you have to let this sit for like seven days. Oh, I just have to show you the star one. Oh, my stars came out really good. Um, you have to let it sit for seven days so it cures, and then you have to take um, the powder. And then um, clean all the silicone off. And then it's two days to varnish. You need a first coat for varnish, let that dry 24 hours, and then a second coat of varnish. So it takes about nine days, really, before it's actually finished. So I'll get the stars before that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Can I mix this one? I keep mixing and reaching for that one. So like I said, so Jeannie wanted a peacock theme. So that's what these, hopefully these colors are peacock inspired. And hopefully I can get my torch to work. <laughs> I put it on before and then I couldn't get it to shut off. Those stars, you wait till you see them with the gloss on there. Oh my gosh, the colors look even darker now. I'll get them before we pour. Hopefully maybe Jeannie will make it here. They put the pearl tree up, but some lights are not working. Oh, no. <laughs> Did you get a chance to make more ornaments, Patty? I know you said you want to make some different ornaments. All right, we're going to have to add some more flow trail. Let me get the stars so I can show you those. If you're watching over on YouTube, you know, fast forward past the paint. You want to just see the pores. I'll be doing several pours tonight, so, and then I couldn't, I 
I couldn't get my last video to upload to YouTube, so whatever they're doing, I don't know what they're doing, some new uh, changes or something, so hopefully maybe they'll fix it, and then I can uh, do it. Not yet was running around. Oh, okay. So here is, can you see how nice the colors look now? So there it is, um, varnished twice now. Yeah, you can see it there. And they come out nice. I really love the stars. So here, what's my the, my dilemma is now, do I give these like this plain or should I embellish them? I, I'm asking this question to everyone but Eileen. <laughs> should I give them like this or should I put the little flowers on there? So there's that one. And then there's this one. This one has more like silver in it. Can you see how nice the colors are? They're so deep and rich now. Yeah. This part has a lot of silver, so it's silver metallics. Hard for you guys to see it, probably. I know, I know Eileen would say leave it plain. <laughs> I'm waiting to see what everybody else says. <laughs> you like it plain, plain, plain. All right. <laughs> All right, so that's why I'm going to, because these are for my two, I have two therapists, so um, this one is for um, each one of them, so. There we go. Thanks, Alan. Thanks, everyone. All right, so I think we need a little bit more of this. So that looks okay. Don't let me forget to put the silicone in here. <laughs> You all seem to take it for Christmas so early. This is the first time I've actually, um, usually I get my tree like this weekend coming. But because of my knee and how slow um, I'm working, um, I figure I had to. The stars um, and the ornaments I got at Michael's. So each one I think is going to need just a little bit more. Might as well finish this one jar up. All right, there we go. I think that should be. Good. All right. So that's done. Haven't put your tree up yet? Well, I knew I would be slow. Like, usually I would have the family room, the tree up, everything done. But I was lucky enough to just get the tree up yesterday. about to do it after Thanksgiving a lot of people did it like before Thanksgiving like on Wednesday and I was like especially around here like everybody had almost their tree up already I was like that's a little bit too early and we always do a live tree Gabby's gonna be a little disappointed though because it's not as big as we usually get it's probably about a foot foot shorter and probably about two feet not as wide <laughs> I just couldn't do it that's that much more ornaments, that much more lights. <laughs> and plus the dogs are already sniffing underneath. <laughs> I have to like leave like six inches from the bottom of the tree, not decorated, <laughs> if I want to keep my ornaments. It's still kind of thick, but we'll see. Yes to the glitter, Progenie. Okay, good. <laughs> Hopefully she'll be here in time. <laughs> 
Thank you, Daria. This is um, hopefully peacock-inspired colors, so <laughs> we'll see how they turn out. I'm only afraid about this red and the green. I'll have to make sure I don't put them close together to make brown. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. That's the gold. This one is view. This one is glitter all the way <laughs> for Jeannie. This is going to be a lot of paint. We'll probably get, hopefully maybe get two pours out of here. And then the next one I want to do is, I know red and green make brown. Is Jean here? <laughs> she can argue with me. <laughs> um, but I saw a couple people put red and green in their pores, and it didn't turn brown. So we're going to give that a try tonight. <laughs> Does it need a dark green? Hmm. You think so? I have green. I have a dark green. And this is a metallic blue. This one it looks really nice, doesn't it? So I have quite I have two metallics, the blue and the jade green. Oh, they look like outer space. <laughs> I like the stars. Okay. All right, we'll have to get a dark green. Yeah, it does have um like a jade green. Like yeah, I think we put we will put a darker green. You don't think it'll turn brown if you mix them thoroughly, burning it? Yeah. But we're going to try it and see. I mean, it's only paint, so we can just wipe it off. <laughs> All right, so I have everything mixed, so I think we just need a dark green now. So let's just do that. I actually have this green with the glitter. More glitter for Jeannie. <laughs> That doesn't look too dark, though. Let me see if I'm going to add it with another green that I have. Um. All right, this one is... Uh, Phthalo kinate green. We're going to mix it with that. All right, good. There we go. So let's get another stick. Um, let's mix these two up first. Remember to show, always shake it. I guess I used to strain this too, but I didn't. though because the white looks like it's lighting up but it when it dries so don't always think that because um, it doesn't show dark green on there that you need to add more paint you don't it kind of dries like um, it'll dry the true color 
So I've been told, so we'll see. <laughs> So now, Patty, when is the stencils? Because Patty's having, um, I stencils is having a uh, sale. December 8th, I think it is, right, Patty? So are you coming out with new designs, um, Patty, or are you just streaming for I stencils? That one's a little bit more. Streaming all next week for eye stencils. Okay. So you're not coming out with any new ones then. Yeah, you'll have a busy week. So you think you'll just stream the weekend? There's Jeannie, huh? Just in time, Jeannie. Just in time. We added two glitters. This is a green glitter, and then this is a teal glitter. <laughs> There's Jeannie. <laughs> Yeah, sales start December 8th through the 11th. A few new designs of uh, hers and selling some of ice stencils, too. Oh, good. So, Patty will have, and if you're over on YouTube watching this, Patty is Inky Obsession, and uh, she designs for ice stencils, and so she'll be having um, a coupon code, so which is good for hers as well as other, the whole site. So, if you're interested in ice stencils, uh, yep. So she thinks she's going to stream Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and maybe Monday. All right, Jeannie, so here we go. We're getting ready to pour. And I need the silicone. So, whoops. All right, so I'm going to put just one drop. In each. In the uh, glitter one, I put two. And in the interference ones, I'm going to put two, two drops, two little drops. Okay, and I didn't put any in the white. So, see what happens. Oh, plus they're going to have a lot more giveaways and a bigger discount this time, so... Yay for that. All right. So let me go over the colors that I used, and then we'll pour. So I did use this. This is called Color Shift, and they come in. They have, I want to say, five or six different colors. And so you can see there, it's got the blue and purple. They also have a turquoise. I think the turquoise is blue and, you know, teal. I think they have a red. I don't remember what the red, maybe red and orange. But they have, like, five or six. And I get that at Michael's. Um, it's hard to find though. Uh, and then this one is a sapphire. It's a metallic sapphire. We put that in there. We put the stark blue in there. We put the lime green. So the lime green. This one is yellow green. Um, what else did we put in there? Yellow green. We actually put this darker green. This one is thylokinite green. And we put some gold and some purple. The stark purple one is permanent violet, blue violet. That needs to be shaken up a little. So, all right, so here we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some white around the edge so I can keep the paint hopefully in the middle and then um, have it go. All right, so let me get my gloves on. They're the peacock colors you wanted. So hopefully it turns out like a peacock and we'll see. <laughs> and I have my torch, so hopefully we can get that to work tonight. I don't have to call Jimmy to do it. Like rolled up and then I can't get them fixed. There we go. All right, so I'm actually going to pour it in one of these cups here. So 
we're going to start off with a little bit of white. And then, usually I'm trying to think what comes out first. So I think I'm going to go with the dark purple. And then we'll put the blue. And I'm going to put in the interference one. Oh, you know what? I forgot to mix these up. Close and remind me. When you put the silicone in there, you've got to give this a little twirl, which I forgot. All right, we did that. I'm going to put the glitter in one next. And we'll go with the green. I don't want green glitter. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put the light purple. Yay for huh, permission. Oh, that's good. I missed that. All right, I'm going to put this. I'm going to put the gold in here next. Gold. Let me put this color. Put this more of this. Oh, let's see. Look at the dark purple again. glitter who has got some nice cells there can you see that See? Oh, sorry. Maybe you could see it then. Blue. Some more of this one. Oh, we didn't put any of this lime green in there. I'll put quite a bit of that. Can you see that cup? Right there, see it? <laughs> Alrighty. So, I think I have a lot of paint in here already. So, hopefully we can, um, we'll do another pour if this one comes out really good. We can do another pour. Alright, I'm going to add with this on the top. Do I want anything else in there? Oh. Green, blue, maybe the dark blue again. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see. All right, so I'm going to move these over to the side. So let me move these over. So hopefully we can get another, another pour in here. Move these over a little over. I think maybe we'll put a little bit more of this green, just in case. <laughs> All right. All righty. So I'm going to pour a little bit of white around the edge here so we can see, um, keep the paint hopefully in the middle here. I'm just going to, because this is all going to fall off, this paint, the white part here, but I just don't want to lose all the color. So 
that's why I didn't put any um, in here in the white silicone. Wow, that cup looks nice, doesn't it? Can you see the cup there? Look at that. Alrighty, so. Uh, oh, and then I forget I want to flip this, though. <laughs> oh, let's see how I'm going to do that now that I did that already. Oh, I'm just going to have to just flip it quick. Ow, I missed it. <laughs> Darn it. Oh, can you see that, though? pretty, isn't it? I hope that's your peacock cup feathers you wanted, Cheney. <laughs> so there you can see it there. That's cool, isn't it? So we're just going to move it slowly. Kind of move it just a little slow at a time. Just in time to see the pour. <laughs> Thanks, Ella. Yeah, you can't go wrong with um with that combination. Like I know a lot of they say a lot of people add water and stuff, but you just add the flow troll and that seems to be all you really need. And it still probably could have used a little bit more paint. That's all right, Jean. So I'm just trying to smooth it too. I could have added a little bit more paint, so we'll have to remember that for the next ones. I really don't want to lose this dark blue on this side. stretch the cells too much so I want to make sure I just get this over it has a lot of metallic in there I don't know if you guys could see that dark blue right there. Oh, I didn't torch it. You guys didn't remind me to torch. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What I want to do is, my table is a little crooked too. So, what I want to do is pull these off to the side. Alright. 
All right, I'm going to hold on. I can't see chat yet. All right, let's see if I could torch this now. <laughs> I couldn't do it the other day, so. Ah. I have to hold this. This is one of those ones you have to actually hold. See that? That actually did some something. <laughs> oh, there we go. I got to play with fire. I just did. <laughs> All right. So we need to tilt this a little bit more on the side. I need to get some on this. I have to get this one side here. So I'll make sure I get all the, the sides. See if I can add a little bit more on this side. I just want to be able to pour that off. Looks good. <laughs> Thanks. All right, and then we just need to pour this side off. Need to, oh, just a tad more paint on there. This looks kind of like a peacock. You know how they have that little feather part with the holes? Oh, I just stuck my finger in that. Oh, I'm losing all of my cells. There we go. All right. All right, that looks pretty good. But I see that I just stuck my finger right in that. Oh, where's my knife? I bought a, um, a knife. There we go. All right, there we go. Not your budget. Really not trying. Want to try some of what? 
some of these. Alright, so I think that's pretty much it. Make sure I have all the bottom done. The sides are all taken care of. There we go. So there it is, Jeannie. <laughs> I have all the side sticking here so I think I'm going to tor try to torch it one more time and I think then we're good I wish I could just get just a little bit more paint on that side all off there we go guys all right so there it is so we'll just torch it I think a little more oh Vallejo liquid watercolors All right, so we have enough paint that we can do another one. So, you love it? Oh, good. All right, so let's try to torch it one more time. I think I mean, might need a little bit more gas in here. Where the white interferences is where you get a lot of those little white bubbles. All right. Oh, now it didn't shut off. This is what I had the same problem last time. Oh my gosh, it doesn't shut off. like this one I've seen other people have different other kinds and it seems like they're a lot better but there we go oh let's see try this like you know make a hobby all right so let me put this over to the side so so there you go Gina it could be kind of close up you can see the cells there it's hard with the all right so now hopefully I don't get this all over Yourselves. 
All right. So I think maybe um, let's do one of these stars. Thanks, thanks everyone. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jeannie. <laughs> you picked the colors, so. All right. And look how pretty that that looks inside there. Can you see? So we'll use that again. So we'll do this pour again. So hopefully we have enough what's left here. So I'm going to go in with the white again. White. Purple. Light purple. Maybe I'll do blue. Thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry. I see the gratitude. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Oh. Green. much of that glitter in uh in that other pour so we'll see how this comes out well, put the purple in I could probably made a little bit more of this purple lime green again. We have left. Oh, let's see. This is green. Glitter green. Oh, 
Um, I guess maybe I'll finish with the gold. How's that? So we're going to do the same thing. Squirt the, the white around there. So hopefully, so there you can see the cup in there. Um, um, so I'm going to add some white around the edges. Just so the paint doesn't roll over. This is one that you lose a lot of paint because of the shape, you know. And they're all rolling all over. Probably should have put this in like two little cups. So we'll see what happens. I really want to do a flip. <laughs> so we're going to see how this works out. Oh, I need more paper towel. Hold on. <laughs> All right. So I'm actually going to do a flip because there's not much white paint on here. So better off with my left hand, I think. Oh, didn't work out that well. Just let that sit there for a minute. You can see the cells right there. Ooh, that looks pretty good. I didn't prep them at all. All I, all I did, um, it's right from the store. Whatever paint they have on there, I didn't gesso them or anything else. Nope. Wow, can you see those cells? Look at that. I'm going to bring this up there closer. Can you see that? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it out. Ooh, there's way too much paint on there. <laughs> wow, look at that. That's the only problem with um, doing the star shapes because you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose so much paint. We are. Oh, you know what? Got torch it first. Let's torch it. Oh, I'm dripping. All right. Let's see if I can do this again. Nope. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> I might need more gas or whatever in there. Oh, I'm losing my paint. <laughs> That's the only problem with these stars. One's cool, right? Has more of the green in this one for some reason. Just going to pour this one like that. It's not big enough. <laughs> 
to hold it. Not gonna have to chat right yet. I guess I got some gloopers in here too. I'm gonna have to get out. Hold on a second, I can't, can't get my, there we go. You love the cells? Yeah. I think the best, that's the only best way, because a lot of people add water or whatever. The best way is just to do the float draw, and then I have, do have a little glooper or something in there. There we go. I have to add a little bit more to this side right here. I don't really want to stretch them too much, the cells. I've got to get rid of this now, that little. Did this bring, oh, we forgot to spring the glitter. No, I'll have to go back and, thank Patty, I'll have to go back. I don't like that part right there. You can see a lot more of the glitter on this one. See, I stretched that out too far. So, Jeannie, I'll t show you the glitter I have, and then you tell me which one you want. See, now that lime green had a lot of um, sparkles, like, oh, like a lot of gloopers in it. See so these right here? It's like little... Um, little clumps all right let me see if I can um, I don't know why I can't get that torch to work yeah I could blow some on there too <laughs> See if I can stretch that just a little bit more. I'm 
All right, there we go. I'm going to call that done. What I don't like is this. Like, why did not... Why didn't this here come over? There. All right, so let me see if I could torch it and we'll add some glitter. <laughs> Such a slight, such an easy. There it goes. Oh, I just had it. See that white part? It laces up like. Can you see that? I am I watching the chat? <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> That's it. Oh, from the bottom of the float troll. I think it was that lime green I had. It was like thick. All right, so let's see if I can bring this up to see. Ooh. So there, can you see that? Right there. That one's a cool one. <laughs> All right, so let's throw some glitter on here. <laughs> so let me see, what do I have? Oh, that looked paint all over me tonight. <laughs> I've got uh, some gold. I'm trying to think what it would show up better. I've got blue. Ah, thanks, Joan. Thanks. Uh, all right. And then, Jeannie, tell me which color do you want on yours? I have this gold. Can you see it here? I've got green, like a blue, and a gold. I think I'm going to throw some of this green on this one and maybe gold. So, so what I do is this. Actually, my hands are wet, so that's not going to work. i got to draw my hands better than that. It's very, um, like you don't notice it. You would think that you would notice a lot of, the, a lot of that on there, but you don't. All right. So I like that right there. And it's hard for you to see. You want the green and gold on yours. Okay, so if you're watching on YouTube, just fast forward a minute while I go sprinkle this onto Genie's. <laughs> You'll like that. That's glitter, the green glitter. I really like the green glitter on there. All right. 
so that's this one. This is a Martha Stewart. I don't know if they have a name. Verdolite. Verdolite? <laughs> Reminds me of surfing on a beach. This one? That one is cool. All right, so let me put that in the tray. I'm going to take that to the dining room table, and we're going to clean this up, and then we're going to do the red-green pour. So we'll see what happens with that. We're going to clean this all up. going to need more wipes. <laughs> so we can keep the white. I think I'll keep the white and we'll keep the gold. So we'll keep this. <coughs> Throw this out. We'll keep that. I can keep the green. And we'll throw the rest of this out. That, I'll keep the gold. Get rid of the purple. Green and gold. Yep, I put that on there. It looks really good. The green really looks good on there. So I'm going to put the blues. Oh, I guess I keep the green glitter one. So I'm going to put green in there. And this one I could keep. Get rid of this. And get rid of this one. And this is the blue interference. Okay, so let me get some more cups. Get rid of that. Get rid of the plastic. Ew. You never want to go in the water. <laughs> Why? All right, we need these still. Because that we'll put in back. We'll put these back. Alright, that's pretty, isn't it? If we could save that, that would be nice. <laughs> Alright, we're going to keep these. That's the nice thing about the wax paper. Then we just, just get rid of it and start over. Oh, we're early, 7 30. All right, so with this, the greens, I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do the big Christmas trees. Let's do the big trees. Although maybe I'll do an ornament first to see how the color comes out. Because if we make brown, then I don't want a big tree with brown on it. <laughs> All right. So if you have earphones, Take them out because when I cut that wax paper, it's going to make a really loud noise. Uh, where is the wax paper? Let me just read the chat for a little bit. Edge of waters, white bubbles. <laughs> All right, I'm looking for my wax paper. Which, um, I don't see. Hold on a second. Still looking. No, oh, there it is. All right, so we're gonna pour another, another one. We'll pour another one of these, and then if it works out good, we'll do the big trees.
trees. We're going to do this. We're going to test it on this first, and then we'll do the trees. Because I have two big trees to do. have our white green I think I'm gonna do bigger I think I'm gonna do bigger ones because we have the big trees so I think I'm gonna get rid of this I'll keep the sticks though because I have two big trees plus this ornament so we have to mix a lot of paint all right so if you're watching over on YouTube we're just gonna be mixing paint so fast forward if you don't want to see the mixing All right, so I'm going to use, actually use these. So we need, uh, what color are we going to do? We're going to need, I have the glitter green and the green. I'm going to get red. Do this might be green? <coughs> no, not that green. How about use this? I'm hoping I don't make through the mud. <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed we don't make mud. So should I go with the I think I'm gonna go with the gold. Maybe gold and copper. A little gold and copper in there. This is um, basic green. Sorry for the noise. <laughs> we do have that green. What is this? Interference blue. There we go. Hi, Orla. <laughs> All right, so we have green, red, dark green. <clears throat> maybe, maybe this green. This one is aqua green. <clears throat> See how it goes. <laughs> it's just paint. And what's this one? This one's teal topaz. We don't want that. Uh, turquoise. Just going to stick with the green and red, I think. So, copper and gold. All right, so we have the copper, one for gold, green, red, and maybe this one. Maybe I'll do the glitter green separate. <coughs> All right, so here we go. <laughs> this one's a little watery. Let's, let's see. This one is the emerald green. This one's got glitter. I'm going to make quite a few, like I said, because... Uh, which color is this one? It's a turquoise, but it looks turquoise green, doesn't it? I'm going to put some of that in there. Oh, this one's... This one's no good. It's got a lot of, a lot of glumps. Lumps. <laughs> um... Maybe we'll just make a version of a darker green. So we'll do this green. And then we'll do um, a little bit lighter green with some white. See how that turns out. I think I'm going to need a lot more white too, so... what we can get in this anymore. So I think I'm going to keep the, I'll keep this white to go around the edges and then we're going to add a lot of white. I think I'm going to put the silicone in this one too.
white. And then we need red. I wish I had another red. This isn't like really, it says primary red, but it looks kind of pink. <laughs> looks kind of pink. That red, we need this green. I think I'm just going to go with this green. That's a neon green. I don't want that. Do I want the neon green? What do you think? Where's the dark green? Where is the... Oh, there it is. They'll be mostly all green. We really don't have too much red. I'm trying to think if I have any other red. Let's try this color. Primary magenta. I'm going to put some of that in there. I'm going to mix that with the red and see what happens. I'm going to mix that with the red. Let's see what color we get. Ugh. Gosh, I'm running out of uh, baby wipes. All right, we need copper and the gold. So this is for the dark green. This is for the gold. Gold. This one is glitter green. White. Use that one for the green. Two more sticks. I'll have to get some more sticks next time, and I need another tube of white. And we need gold. Did I do the copper? No. We need gold and copper. Copper. And this one's gold. Oh, you know what we need? Gold interference. I think I have green interference. I do. So. I don't think we'll use a neon green. We have a lot of green. <laughs> um, what else do I need? This one. Interference green and we want interference gold. So two more cups. The interference gives it like the um, kind of metallic-y uh, look. I'm really out, almost out of that. And this one is the green. Look at the top off. Oh, yeah, I do. That's a green. Let's see if I can. Hey, lipstick. Making bracelets and oh, for the girls, that's nice. All right, so we'll see how much that does. All right, so so we came in a little late. We've already poured the ornament for Jeannie. We did the star. Actually, started an hour earlier today. Um, all right, so now we need, uh, we have everything, all the colors. Did we use this one? I don't know if I'm going to use this one. I think I have that's green, red. I'm debating. Should I go with this one or maybe this one? Maybe the yellow green. Let's do that. One more cup. <laughs> yellow green. Alright, 
control. We'll have to see if um, Jimmy can add some more fluid to that too for me. Oops, that was a lot. Oh, I forgot to mix that one up first. Darn it. Oops, nothing in there. Let me mix this one up first. See what we get. What kind of red? Hmm. in here. Let's see what happens. It's going to get me pink though. That will get me more pink. You forgot the interference. Why? What happened? I'm just adding a little more red to that. Hopefully it gives us a different a different red. Different red than that one. Probably have to come back and add that. Oh, telling. Oh, what I've been using. Oh, thank you, CB. Yep, just acrylic paint, a flow trawl. That's this. That's mainly the main thing. Really, it's mostly flow trawl and a little bit of paint. That's the way I look at it. And then you just want to mix it so it's the consistency consistency of honey. You don't want it to be really drippy. If you can see that. Can't really see it. Like this, I'll add a little bit more to this probably. And I'm making a bigger batch because we're going to actually do three. We're going to do the ornament and two. I have two big trees. PBO, you like the two colors? And did you ever see this one, CB? The color shift. I really, I really like that paint. So we're keeping our fingers crossed that this is not going to make brown. Because, you know, green and red make brown. See, I don't know if you can see. That's kind of drippy. Like, see, it still needs a little bit more. It should drip a little bit more than that. Make sure you get all the flow trawl mixed well. <clears throat> this is the interference gold, right? Or green. I don't remember now. I'm hoping that this is I think this is I don't know. This oh that isn't a green. <laughs> <coughs> mix this white and green up first now before I put the flow trawl in there but oh my hands getting tired <laughs> and I'm gonna put a dot of the green in the white just to tone the white down a little so I'm gonna put some white in this one This is almost like the aqua green, really. This one's the glitter. Can you see that? How it's 
dripping like honey, that one. Pretty green, <laughs> yeah. Now this looks pink, but this is the primary red, so I'm hoping it doesn't read pink. I'm almost thinking if I had some black up here, I would add a little bit of black to it. Is <coughs> there anything on that one? This one's a gold. It's just the white. Silicone, thank you, Patty. I will. A couple more to do, and then we'll do silicone. I'm even going to put the silicone, like I said, in this white one. I do want some cells in this one. Wow, oh, my hand's getting tired. <laughs> this one is the lime green. Yellow green, I think it is. I probably should have made more of this one up, but we can always make some more up. This is our pink and red combination. This one's kind of lumpy. Copper, and then we had to add a little bit more to each. And then I'm going to see if Jimmy can uh, put some more gas in my thing. And the torch. All right, we need a little bit more in the in these. I just went through half a bottle of this already. Like I said, this is like, too bad didn't have like a little mixer that you could just mix it. Of 
got to make sure you scrape the bottom because there's a lot of the float troll in the bottom of these cups. No mess cleanup is the best part, yeah. Alrighty, what else do we have? This one. Float troll can change the color. No, it might um, lighten it a tad, but um, you don't want to. Uh, it, it goes back to the dark color, like especially what color we were talking about. This color, this green, the, it will lighten it up, but when it dries, it dries true to color, true to that color. So you don't want to just keep adding that paint to make it darker, darker, darker. And that's what I'm hoping what will happen because the red, you can see the red looks kind of pink. Because of the flow troll, but hopefully it will read red. <laughs> hopefully. All right, we have everything. Oh, one more. That's way too big. more to the white. White's way too thick. I was saying I got an extra bottle of that. Even that's still kind of thick. yourself for two seconds while I say get some more gas for my torch. Jimmy, yeah. can you put more in here? I think it's empty. Because the flame's really little. Put the gas in there because it's empty. All right. Keep your fingers crossed we don't make brown. <laughs> All right, so I need a big cup. I'm thinking I'm going to go with one of these. This is a nine ounce one. So we're going to start off with the, oh, silicone, silicone. <laughs> and these are bigger cups, so I'm going to just do a little bit bigger drop than, uh, than I did. Um, what is that right there, the white? Alright, so I got it in everything. And we're going to just give it one little stir. Did I put one in there? Oh, I did that one. Did it? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I can't remember if I put one in there or not. Do this one. All right, gloves. <laughs> We're ready. Oh, cross stitch. I used to do cross stitch. It's too hard. 
Too hard on my hand and my elbows. Keeping your elbows in that position for a long time, I can't do it. I used to do smocking too, which I really loved, but I can't do those anymore. Oh, hold on, I lost my chat here. There we go. All right, so we got a little white. A little white in there. I'm going to go with the dark green. And I'm going to go with the light green. And I'm going to go with the, which one is this one? I'm hoping this one is the gold. The interference gold. So hoping that if I do that and then put the red on top of that, we won't make mud. That's the gold. Let's do the red. And let's do... Just do a little bit of white. <coughs> I'm going to go with, uh, let's see, let's do the copper. It's a pretty cup already. And we'll go with our pink and white mixture. Um, I'm going to go again with the white and gold. More of the gold. Uh, we'll go with the dark green. Interference green. Wow, look at that cup. Can you see it? <laughs> that looks pretty good. I think this is going to be more like a psychedelic <laughs> Christmas tree looks like. more red in there but I'm afraid <laughs> I'm afraid green um all right I'm gonna try this not that red let's do our primary red see what happens all right it looks good <laughs> can you see it pretty good right all right so what I'm gonna do now is move these over Lots of room. I almost like I wanted just a little bit more green. Just on the top. Let's see what happens. A little more of this. And appearance. <coughs> I'm gonna put more of this interference green on here. Oh, you know what? I didn't do the drop of uh, green in the white. All right, so we're going to move this over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the flip. I can never do it with my right hand. I don't know why. Ah! Darn it. Oh, my gosh, I told you. All right, what I want to do is try to draw this white. I need it. It's like uneven here. On here so that I don't lose some of the color. All right. Okay, you see the cells in there? Look at that. 
this is uneven this little tray here I need um I need like a little plastic something it's uneven on that side for some reason let me see if I get a little lid so this isn't exactly actually the red I don't think I have the right red because it's really more pink and green more like a retro maybe <laughs> See if I can put that on top of there. So I'm going to move this around first or pour it all out. All right, you ready? I'm going to move this like. Wow, that's a lot of paint. <laughs> Way too much paint. I might have to pour some of that back in here. You see that? Look at that. Definitely gonna pour some out. What I'm gonna do is put it on here first. Let's see if I can pour this out on this side. No. Yeah, it turned out more pink and lime green <laughs> than red. I wonder what color I have to use. All right, let me torch this. I need paper towel. Oh, I need paper towel. Woo! All right, let's see if we can torch it. a different torch this is just not working for me oh. Oh. Jimmy I can't get it to go what happened hold on are too slippery. I'm going to take one of these off. Yeah, it looks nice, but it's not what I was looking after. Oh my gosh, I can't get this to go. one that where it stays when you do it No, I just can never seem to get a lot of those little white cells to come out. There it goes. Oh. Oh. My hands are just not good for this. <laughs> nope. Darn it.
Yeah, the white always has those little cells, but I can't seem to get cells from anything else. All right. Oh, well, I don't like this combination. It's okay for <laughs> for this, but it's not. I don't want my trees in this. So what am I going to do for my trees? <laughs> Blue, red, azillion, chrism, perhaps. Lizard chrism. Uh, I don't think it'll dry that much darker. All right, so. See, I wish I had... Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this off on you. I did get some Yupo paper. It's all right. So, all right. I need um, to get this back. Let me put that in here. Oh, I want to put some glitter on this. So what color glitter should we put on here? I have, uh, let's see, the gold or the green. I kind of like this green. So let's do that. So I'm going to pour some in here. This green is really pretty. There's still a lot of paint on here. I'm going to have to probably take some of this paint off still. All right, there we go. Yeah, see how much it's dripping off? There's a lot of paint on this one. A lot. Oh, I need another glove. This is not one you would like, Eileen. It's too pink. <laughs> I'm going to have to go get, I don't know what kind of red. I'm going to have to go see what everybody else use. So I'm just going to pour off a little bit more. Where's that cup? And then I'm going to actually you put some of that. All right, so I think I'm going to leave it just like that so you can see it there. I don't know if you can see the glitter in that one or not. All right, so I'm going to put this in the dining room, and I'll be back. I might go back just to blue, red, and yellow. for my trees <laughs> so now I have all this extra paint too that we mixed what am I gonna do with it <laughs> Ugh. all right so let's see I'm gonna pour I'm gonna make a bookmark with these let's see how that turns out So this is just Yupo paper. I'm just trying to get up this. It reminds me of looks like Grinch colors. What's that?
Can you see that? This would be a pretty bookmark, or I could do it for a card on the edge of a card or something. This one even has some of the glitter in there. Add a different green and a few blues. <clears throat> All right, so let's pour this one on here. So I'm either going to use this as a bookmarker or I'll put it on the edge of a card like. So there's that one. See that one? It's got a little bit of glitter in it. All right, so I'm going to move these over to the side. Not too many cells in this one either, though. See, that's the runoff pour. It might show up later, so we'll see. All right, so in a different green. I don't have too many greens. Yeah, borders on cards. I think that's what I'm going to use. Oh, I got all this paint now. I think I'm going to go back to, what did we do last time with the stars? The blue, yellow, and red. Oh, I wish I had, like, oh, something else I could pour on. Oh, you know what I have? Let's do these. So I don't waste this paint. Because these would be pretty in that color. So these are those half ornaments. So let's see what this pour like. Hopefully this is enough paint to put on this ornament. I'm going to have to do a little bit more. Not enough, not quite enough. Where's my little knife? So I'm actually going to pick this all up. Put that back on there. Just so they can cover that up. I have to get up here. Almost covered. I can't see the back there. I just dropped all of that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Pink. Take that 
that out of there. Kind of pretty. <laughs> there, can you see that? It's not too bad. It's in the pastel y colors, kind of like I gotta cut this off. Scissors. It's a little bit more right there. Well, at least we got one ornament out of it, huh? <laughs> there. That looked pretty nice. Can you see it? Spinning around there. I just want to make sure I have all the, all the little areas covered. Right there. So now I just need a cup to put this in so that it will, it will dry. Whoops. Hold on a second. Let me just catch up on the chat if I could. I can I take this one block off. There we go. Ugh. It's, a, it's an amazing planet. <laughs> All right. I have to clean this part up. I think I'm going to need new cups for here. These are getting kind of raunchy. My paper towel. I, you would like that, Jean, because it's green, of course. <laughs> I have to put it up a little bit higher. I need to be propped up a little bit more because it's just falling. Always more than what. All right, so let me clean this up. So I think I'm going to go back to what we did for the stars because I still have two stars and one ornament left. I don't know what I'm going to do with these colors. Throw this out. I'll have to practice a little bit more for the red and green because that combination is not on it. All right, so. All right, so what did we do last time? We did red, blue, something more with blue, maybe. So cover your ears and taking the wax paper back out. <laughs> so I wanted to finish these tonight, too, so I'm going to have to see what I did wrong. I think it's the red. Whatever red I have, it's just not working. Put in my journals. <laughs> that paint, I'm not going to be able to do that. <laughs> Pour some on a cardboard, yeah, I could probably do that. But I don't really like the colors, pink and green. I know, don't, I usually like pink, but I don't know. All right, so what do we have left? I 
I think I'm going to do something with the blue. thinking of what colors I want to pour so hold on a second <laughs> I got paint all over me well we can keep the two whites we keep the gold I think I'm gonna get rid of all this green not get rid of it but I mean oh my poor little my poor little Timmy scissors Use the Ford cardboard. Oh, for journal cover. Oh, got you. Oh, okay. Yeah, we could do that. All right, so we'll get rid of this pour then. We'll get rid of all these greens and pinks. How's that? So let's pour that into a cup, and then we can call that good. All right, so, so we got some white. Go with the dark green. It's light green. Maybe I'll just make this all the greens and I'll send that to you, Jean. <laughs> green. Copper. Oh, I could use the copper, though. What is this? Interference, pink, pink, Ooh, just start green again. I did throw a little pink in there, so we'll see, Jean. <laughs> um, I'll go with the green glitter. I mean, it makes really nice cells. You can see the cup is, I mean, the cells are really nice in there. Okay, I'll get rid of that. What else? This green. Should I put more of the lime green? bit of gold and because this is the one that I don't care about it'll probably come out the best <laughs> a touch of pink all right and we'll finish up with the dark green We'll paint over the pink. <laughs> well, that's no good. You have to keep the pink in there. That'll remind you of me. <laughs> all right. Might as well finish all this green. Let me get that out of there. Right, throw that out. Now I hate to just throw it on a piece of cardboard. I really should put it on something, don't you think? <laughs> I'm trying to think what I could put it on. Fuchsia, not baby pink. Yeah, that's kind of, yeah, it's not baby pink. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I want to put this on. Cardboard. I think I'm going to go back to these colors. And I think that was the the blue and pink, wasn't it? All right. All right, I have this. Let's move this out of here. I really hate to waste it just on this cardboard. <laughs> Oh well, what are you going to do? 
and hopefully this time I can keep it straight. I only really need another one of these little cups, but all right, here we go. Yay, finally. <laughs> On mixed media paper, then you could die cut it. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Too late now, Jen. <laughs> Too late now. But I like the colors there, whatever's coming out. There's way too much paint on here. Oh, way too much paint. Uh, let's see if I have another cardboard. No, this is half a one. What I'll do is, I really would like to, what should I do? The die cut the chipboard is true. That looks pretty right there, just doing that. I told you this one's going to be better than the other one. Ah, oh, I really don't. I should have just put this on like a, on the star. Oh, I don't know what to do. Ah, oh, let's just go. Look how much paint that is. Ah, oh, too much paint. You know why I was going to plan on making the trees? That's why it's so much paint. Ugh. What I'm going to do is look at that. Look at it. <laughs> Need gloves. <laughs> That's a lot prettier than the last one. Oh my gosh, I only have one glove left. <laughs> Too much paint. What are we going to do? <laughs> I might have to stop after this because I have to figure out the combination for my trees. And I don't have any more gloves. I have one glove left. <laughs> one glove. Do I? Yeah. Oh, I got two. Two gloves. I can drip on the other cardboard. Yep, that's what I plan on doing. Now, I wish the other one would have came out like this. <laughs> Don't wreck it. <laughs> Pour it off into the cardboard. I am. Where's my other piece of cardboard? I'm going to need a bigger cardboard than that. Hurry, it's falling. Here we go. Smush on top. Oh, I don't want to smush it. Try to pour most of, most of this pink off for you, Jean. <laughs> Let's just pour it off. Let's just do it. Still pretty pink, though, I <laughs> have to say. Yeah, these cells are great because I didn't care about it, Eileen. <laughs> Just 
trying to see if I can cover the whole thing so it's an actual 12 by 12 piece. Wouldn't that be cool? It's not pink, it's fuchsia. <laughs> okay. I think what I'll do is I'll just swipe that other piece underneath. <clears throat> Cover that piece right there. There we go. Oh, if I can get this whole piece covered, that would be nice. Yeah, it is closer to purple. There we go. You see the purple? Yeah, it is. It is more purple than a pink. I'm calling it pink, but it's not really pink. It does look pretty cool though. We cut this so it's two, like for the front and the back of a journal cover. So I try to keep, I'll try to keep the green for the front and then the pink or purple, whatever, <laughs> for the back. Looks pretty good though, doesn't it? <laughs> mm, so, let's see. I just need to cover this tiny little corner right here. Just push that over. There we go. It did come out pretty cool afterward, after all that. <laughs> Because what's it going to go on? Nothing. <laughs> I guess you could put it on a canvas since it's on a piece of chipboard, I guess. <laughs> it's a 
think that corner to get uh It did turn out pretty good after all, but that's not really what I wanted. <laughs> Let's get this one little corner fixed. Oh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> All right, just want to get the paint evened out a little bit. It's kind of thin now on that other side. And then we'll call it good. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to call it just like that. You see it there? It'll turn out pretty good after all. This needs just a tad right there. All right, so I'm going to put this on the table. Hopefully I don't spill any on the way way there. And then we have the bottom one to do. Turned out good, right? <laughs> so now about this one. <clears throat> Let's see what we have left in here. Spell something out there. Even if I got to do like a little five by seven piece or something like that out of this piece, that would be good. All right. Maybe I could just swipe this one. Where's that knife? That's pretty much done. So I think I maybe think I should just swipe it. What do you think? We want to get at least a little five by seven piece out of here. So let's just let's just do it. Now this has a lot of purple. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get um, so I can get a five by seven piece out of here. See that? No, I don't use PVA. All I use is the acrylic ink and just flow draw. Acrylic ink, acrylic paint, and just flow draw. That's it. No water, nothing else. We're gonna mix another one, so you'll see. All right, so let's just move this a little. See what happens. Well, it's funny how this one has more like purple out of it. Are you welcome? This one has a lot more of that color, whatever it is. Let's 
So it should be able to get at least a 5x7 piece out of here, hopefully. It'll make a, a nice journal cover anyway. For anybody who likes purple, I should send this one to uh, Jamie. <laughs> Yeah, on the cardboard, yeah. So I'm going to just cut them out for journals, journal cover. So let me see if we can get this one. It'd be nice if I can get two little ones for like even two little ones to go on here. There, you can see that. All right, so we're going to go back to the red, blue, and yellow. <laughs> I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do for my trees now. All right, so I'm going to call it just like that. Can you see that? came out pretty good. Does Jennifer love purple too? <laughs> you can see that one there. That. <laughs> All right, so let me put that over there. And then we'll pour one more time. What time is it? 849. Well, we'll do some blue, red, and yellow. At least if I could finish the stars and the ornament, that would be good. to save these gloves since I only have two more gloves. <laughs> what is that, Patty? All right, so I'm going to try to save these gloves. You have do a candy cane tree, red, white, and silver. Oh, I could, but it doesn't really go with what I want. I really want the red and green. Oh, my hands are too slippery. I just don't, I can't figure out what. I'll have to go back and look at the video and see. Shoot, I can't take this one off. Probably make a hole in it trying to take it off. saved. I'll see if we can save this other one. <laughs> what happened? Oh, she must be covered. Oh, Mojo is <laughs> laying. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mojo, you must remember my voice. <laughs> All right, so what are we going back to? Red, yellow, and blue. Red, yellow, and blue. Let's see what happens. Where's the yellow? I'm just going to do three colors since it's already 9 o'clock and see what happens. Plus, I need, I need more cups. Where are my cups? There we go.
All right, so we have white gold already mixed. We'll use the copper. So we're going to do red, blue, and yellow. And this is a gold interference. So let's just do this quick. So we got some yellow. We have some blue. And some red. Although this red looks more like pink to me. So it says primary red, but I don't know. It doesn't look like primary red to me. <laughs> All right, we got those three. We'll make a little bit more gold. <laughs> it's laying, laying on her head. Aww. Plus my float draw is going too. All right, and this one, I think this is the interference green. Or is this the gold one? Well, hopefully it's the gold one. <laughs> we'll do some copper. I have enough copper and we got enough white. Okay. So let's do this again. She was thinking about streaming. She was just tweeting that she has to stream. So hopefully she will. Plus my flow troll is almost gone. What else do we need? That's it. Maybe a little bit more of this. Have any more gold? You know what? I'm going to do some of this. This is that sapphire blue. Let's put some of that in there. So I need one more cup. in there last time too? I can't remember. Did we? We got to get some glitter in here. So we could do the teal. Which one is this one? This is a turquoise, but that's a glitter one. This one is, let's do this. Let's do these two. We'll do one more cup. The blue will look nice. Yeah, that one will look nice. So this is the glitter. Peacock Pearl. And this one is the Teal Topaz. <laughs> All right. Hopefully we have enough flow trawl for the rest of that. I think I have, what else do we have? Anything else? Put a little bit more in here. This is almost empty. Blue. Gold. All right. Here we go. When you buy foil, it's two and a half liter bottles. Mine's only one quart. Is it the same thing, Joan? You have actual flow trawl, or do you have something else? Hi, Allie. Because <laughs> there's another one that um, Ann uses. What's her name? Ann, uh, something that she uses also, the Ottawa. It's like a flow trawl. You can buy it in a five gallon. Probably could, but it would be so heavy for my hands to um, pour. I don't know if I could. I'd have to transfer it in one of those little ones. Oh, it is Flotrol. But you know, um, 
what's her name? Anne, you know which one I'm talking about. Anne that blows the glitter. She uses something called Ottawa sometimes. Have you ever done um have you ever done the marbling, Joan? I made a lot. <laughs> we might have to cover both stars with this one. Both stars and I think what did I say? I have one more ornament left, right? You transfer it a gallon. Oh, you do. Yeah, because it's too heavy for my hands. I like that blue. That could use a little bit more even. Oh, you have? Yeah. Home Depot, yeah. I also got it. I, we have Ace Hardware up the street, and that's where um, we get our. Oh, my hands. <laughs> yeah, see, this looks pink, not really red. If I put a little blue in it, you think that would turn it red? That would just turn it purple. I wish I had another red. I'm going to have to go and look, see what they got. Lowe's has it. Oh, when he refills, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right, so there's that one. Oh, we need another stick. Probably should make more copper, don't you think? Well, we'll just do what we got. See what happens. <laughs> I'm sure that's not what she meant, Patty. <laughs> Did you do that, Eileen? blue interference in here too since I already threw that cup out so all right let's just go with that all right so we got that that blue yellow pink well it's pink <laughs> all right uh silicone so we're gonna put one drop one drop one, 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 one. And that one's got one already. All right, so you want to just give that just like three little swirls. Oh, my yellow's really not mixing that good. All right. So we're just going to go for it. So I think I'm going to do um, the star. No, not the star. We're not going to do the star because that took waste too much paint. I'll do the last one of these that Jeannie got me. So thank you, Jeannie, for these. Because that wastes too much paint. So, what did we do last time? We did it in one of these or the bigger cup? I'm trying to think. I think we did it in that bigger cup. Um, 
How much silicone? Only one drop of silicone per container. You know, per cup. All right, I'm looking for my bigger cups. Hold on. You don't want to put too much silicone. It ruins it. So one drop of the treadmill. Yep, treadmill. Yep. Yes, it's this kind here. And I got this one off of Amazon. Treadmill belt lubricant. Right there. And that's all I put in. The paint, the Floetrol, and the silicone. Yep, that's it, Allie. Treadmill belt lubricant. Yep. All right, so here we go. So we're going to go with the white. A little bit of white. Oh, we'll do the blue. Uh, I'm going to go with the yellow. That'll give us some green. More of this blue. The glitter one. Uh, let's go with the interference. Then we'll go with the copper. We'll go with the red. Hopefully that's red. I'm not pink. It looks red to me though. Um, maybe the gold. More interference. Um, maybe we'll go back to the red. Go to the yellow. Back to the blue. yellow that's definitely what did I use last time because I must not have used that for the red because that definitely is pink Let's finish this Back to the copper. Finish that. Copper. Back to blue. Back to yellow. Glitter. This blue. What else? Um, maybe a tad of white. Just a tad. Gold. <laughs> Joan, what are they yelling at Joan for? in there. Might as well finish this, I think. This is mostly going to be blue again. <laughs> blue. Do we finish all of this? Yep. Might as well finish the glitter. And we might as well finish the gold. All right. 
only have that and that left. Oh, white. All right. So let's do the same thing. Yeah, it sure is, Jean, but I, um, I'm going to want to go back because I really want red and green. So I am going to go back and look at the video. She, her name is, uh, what is her name? She's, it's called online, online class or something like that. I'm going to go back and see what paint she used because I want red and green. And that's not doing it. What I'll do is I'll just take another piece of cardboard and we'll just do it with that. Because this will be our last pour for tonight, which means I'll still have to do, do two more. All right, so let me get rid of that. All right, let me get my gloves, the last of my gloves. I am going to do this. I have to do it with my left hand, though. You should probably use Elizabeth Crimson if you want red. Yep. Okay, I'll have to look for it because I don't know if I have that. Oh, darn it. I can't. Oh, I missed it. Look at that. This is more like a unicorn. <laughs> unicorn pour. Darn. Oh, well, my hands are all forget it now. <laughs> Can you see that? Look. More like a rainbow. <laughs> At least this one will match the other. I need, um, my table is like off on this one side. Put some. There. All right, let me try to get the gloves on. <laughs> Clown vomit, what? <laughs> More like a rainbow one. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get these gloves back on. Oh, we did red last week. Or didn't we do red last week? Maybe we didn't. Maybe I'm thinking we did red, but we didn't. <laughs> reds would look pink with that white no but it's not really supposed to um dull the white and um, dull the red it's supposed to be primary red but i don't know it doesn't look like primary yet all right here we go yeah that's a lot of paint is right <laughs> I'm just going to pour that right off right now. Settle that down. It's pretty, but it's not still what I want. Red is inherently transparent, so you need a darker like Elizabeth Crimson to make more red and leave the white out. We'll try it next week, Jean, because i got to still do my trees. So, I mean, this is pretty, but it's just not what I wanted. <laughs> I 
Let's see if we can torch this one. does have a lot of glitter in it. Not glitter, but like sparkle in it. Yeah, this one's like a unicorn. Yep, it is. Like a lot of the copper came out in this one. All right, I need those little sticks. All right, so that's how that one looks. So let's torch this one, and we'll throw some glitter on. And then I still have this, so we might do that over. I have one more of those uh, ornament balls, so we might do that. All right, so I'm going to take this off, because I'm going to leave this one right in here for the night. Huh. All right, so let me see if I can get this to go again. Too many cells to come up. There we go. All right, again, again, let's then turn off. Well, since it's on. Can't turn it off. <laughs> oh. Hold on, I gotta get Jimmy to turn this one off. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. Jimmy, I can't turn it off. <laughs> I can't turn it off. Why does it stay on like that? Why does it stay on when I don't want it on? Hold on. This one's a terrible one. I've seen other people and they just flick it on and it goes on with no problem. Yeah, but I told you you have to do that. I couldn't, I can't push it. It's too hard for me. Thank you. All right, so let's throw some glitter on this one. I'm going again with this green one. 
<laughs> I'm dangerous with the torch. I don't have the strength to do those buttons. I just don't. I like this green because it you can see the glitter, but it doesn't really show up a lot. Okay, so that one is done. All right, so I'm going to move this, and then we're going to <laughs> we're going to do the. Uh, it still didn't come out. Like, what was the colors we used for this? I have to go back and look at the video because I can't remember what color we used for that. All right, so let me get rid of this. I gotta get a pan, and then we'll do the ornament, and then we'll go. <laughs> Hold on. At least it will kind of match the other one. So if I do put those two together, right, I'm going to do this now. I don't want to get this on my chair. That's the thing. <laughs> I don't want to get this on my chair. Let me move this over here. Hold on, I just untied my shoe. All right. You struggle with yours too, Joan? I don't know. I just don't have the strength in my hands for it, I guess. I mean, it's still a pretty poor if you like that, and your trees like that. All right, so let's do this last ornament to get rid of that paint, and then we'll call it a night. So remember Wednesday night we're doing the Christmas uh, canvas. So I'm going to stick these. Oh, I think I need a bigger cup. There's a certain number of colors you should use for a good pour minimum like that. Now, some people do like um, 100 cups. Uh, there's really no minimum. Uh, let's see. I need a bigger, bigger tray. <clears throat> so yeah, some people have just done it with two colors. Some people have done it with a hundred colors. <clears throat> that way, that will hold that pour. All right, so here we go. So we're just going to pour this on. If I need to make more, I will. Oh, my hands are like so slippery. I have to stand up for this so I can see. Well, at least this one's got cells. Look at that. You see that? Oh, I can't see. another green another green bulb <laughs> all right so let's get this out of here let's see where I need to add this That one's pretty. You see the cells on that one?
All right, that one's pretty much covered. That one's pretty with the cells. Can you see that? I'm just trying to get the bottom. There. But could you do a double pouring inside, then draining it? Uh, I probably could, but it looks so nice. Um, I don't really want to do that because when this dries, it looks so nice um, on the inside. I'll show them to you on Wednesday. Needs a little more right there. Yeah, can you see that? This one came out nice. I really like that it's got the cells on this one side. You can see right in here the cells on that side. Oh, thinner paint. Yeah, Patty would know because she does that. She does those. All right, so I have that one covered. Sorry, right, so let me just clean up my knife. We still have enough paint. That's the only problem is I have too much paint. And I don't want to use those colors for, um, like, my star. So, yeah, this one looks pretty good. I like this one better than the other one. But now what to do with this other paint? I guess we could do is pour it on one more cardboard, finish up all this paint and put it on another cardboard. So let me see if I can pick up, right, so let me get rid of this bulb. Oh, and I just touched that. All right, so I have some Yupo, so let's, I want to be able to use these cups. All right, let's see if we can pick up this if it makes. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, I'm so disappointed I couldn't do the red and green tonight. All right, so let's see if we can pick this up. And pour that on there. You can see that? Right, let's just swipe this. See what happens. More green. It's like the, <laughs> it turned out all green tonight. <laughs> but not the green I want. It's more like um, army green. This one has a lot of cells, though. See that? I think it dished on the on the side. What? I missed it. This would be nice to cut, die cut a Christmas tree out of, you know? See this one? This would be nice for a tree. Yeah. We up or mermaid? Yeah, you're right. Mermaid tail. Mm hmm.
All right, so there's that one. So I'm going to save that for a tree, probably. And I probably got one more piece of Yupo, I think, so I'll do that. It does have some nice cells on this one. See in there, the cells right there? Oh, uh, you asked if the ornament balls were flat on the one side. Yes, they are flat on the one side, yes. Oh, uh, hold on. Continue. Oh, my, you know what? My recording is, um, I guess, getting ready to reach the three hours. Have we done three hours? I guess we have. So um, I'm going to, I'm going to finish this. And I guess we'll have to stop the recording. So hold on a second. Hold on. <laughs> I gotta clean my hands. All right, let's see. Ugh. Hold on a second. No, wrong thing. Hold on, I'm looking for my chat. Hold on, because it just left me. There we go. Okay. Rockwood or Naple Red supposed to be opaque red, so that would help. Rockwood Red or Naple Red. Okay, thanks, Jeannie. All right, I'm going to stop this recording, but I'm not going. I'm just going to use the rest of this paint to pour on a cardboard. So if you want to stay, you can stay, or have a good weekend, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye. But I'm not leaving, so.